hey guys welcome to this channel from lake tahoe computers today i have to bring for you you know a summary of what i was exactly doing the last i have to say 10 months of this year i was enrolled in an intensive program from the university of texas at austin this program was a hundred percent online and i was able to do it almost everything through you know a platform that i was connecting you know each uh, week so this program was about cloud computing and i just received the certification coming from them which i'm gonna show, show to you guys this is the uh, diploma from the postgraduate program degree of completion so yeah i mean so far from the certification i'm excited to say that i have the opportunity to learn about more of what it is exactly the cloud and for all of us that we are probably starting on technology for all of us that we're just you know trying to go into a tech program yeah this is i have to say actually a great program but it is request from you some of the skills that you probably have to bring from what it is the technology field. I'm talking about some programming of language. I'm talking about the understanding of how the computer works. There's a lot of people, you know, trying sometimes to start from a scratch on this kind of programs or they're coming with different backgrounds, which is totally possible. I will not say you cannot do it. But obviously, if you are in the field as, as a technician, as a network technician, as a um, system administrator, you will have a totally more comprehension of what it is the cloud computing program. Guys, I was in an intensive training, I have to say, of the three main cloud providers. I'm talking about Amazon AWS. I'm talking about of Microsoft Azure, the entire program of Microsoft Azure, and also also program of Google, which was the Google Cloud. The most important part of the cloud to understand, I have to be very straightforward with this, is that what it is the cloud in summary, the cloud it is someone sells computer. Easy as and simple as that. Of course, if you want to define the cloud as the easy as possible that you can, because the cloud, it is not only one computer. I have to say it is an entire IT infrastructure. If you see what I have in my behind, that's what it is, the cloud. That's what it is, someone else hardware, guys. I mean, there's no space to think like only one computer can do the entire job of the cloud. These are scalable solutions. It means that you can put one on the top of the other one. All these servers, all this networking, all the switches that you can see are scalable and are capable, of course, of providing more and more space, storage, speed, everything that you need. The main concentration of the cloud computing it is about if you come back to your training on it as a computer tech you will see like they are resources resources that are handy they are close to you in a platform or in a cloud-based website which you actually can optimize cloud computing can be understand as you know different operational parts that at the end they will integrate with the software that that you are trying to deploy if you are a software engineer as well you will be able to support all your applications your software you know you you will have some python in the program to to learn and i mean that that is amazing because i have to say like for example in the program that i was enrolled i had to do four main projects of migration i'm talking about real migration of you know websites that are actually working and operating so pretty interesting to be honest 10 months of a lot of work and uh, i feel that i'm prepared i'm prepared to keep you know going with it is you know putting our own cloud and i have to say like that is the next goal as as a business and um well of course the capabilities of the cloud are a lot i mean infinite goes to the infinity and everything it's about what is going to be the scalability, 
that you are looking for your projects. Everything is about how many racks of servers you're going to define, you know, what is going to be the speeds, the capability of the storage, um, the computing capability. It's going to be a term that you're going to learn on this program. I have to say, once you learn how one cloud works, you're going to be able to work with multiple clouds, not only one. I'm talking about, of course, the three main clouds in the IT system, but there's another cloud already on the market. We're talking about Oracle, for example. We're talking about Linode Cloud, and there's many other clouds because servers and rack servers, it's something that anything, anybody that has the infrastructure and the capability on the finance to deploy stuff like this, which is behind my back. So now I have I have some questions regarding how can I start with this in a private mode? Can I can I do a home lab? Can I do something that can help me out to start with this feeling of doing a cloud? And I will have to say that, yes, and I'm a pro of supporting open source, of course, and I'm a pro of supporting like you own your own devices. You have to, uh, you know, see the possibility of having a small server at home, maybe go ahead and do it. Start to deploy in your virtual machines, start to deploying your containers and in those containers, start to do in your projects, your network projects, build your small network at home. Sometimes everything that you need is a router, a switch. And, you know, other devices like a network attachment storage, which is a NAS. And um, saying that, I have to bring the idea of what it is a private cloud. A private cloud, it is technically a cloud that is going to be allocated. It could be at your home. It could be at your office. It's like owning a small piece of hardware that will be able to connect to network. Like in this case, the hardware servers are in one side and the network is in the back part, but everything at the end connects to the network that you guys are watching at the side. So in this idea, it's kind of the same. You, you can use a, a used computer to actually modify that like I did many times, install an open source, like for example, you know, the NAS open source software and, um, you can actually find multiple software that it can work out for your, let's say, installing on, a, on an old computer and as well as putting multiple drives inside of them. So saying that, yes, there's different brand of, you know, of network attachment and storage. Um, I've been working with two main brands. One of it is Synology and the other brand is QNAT. NAS. So in my hands right now, I have to show you something that I bring it up for many of my projects as well as, as I build the networking side already for multiple commercial business locally. Everyone knows that I work with a pretty famous, um, you know, network brand. But the two I mentioned before as, a, as an attachment storage works very fast. It works really great for multiple integrations. Okay. In my hands, I have what I was uh, mentioning. This is a uh, a NAS. This is a network attach, attachment storage or NAS. This is a piece of device that can easily connect to, to your home network. So this, this, this device can actually produce like a home-based cloud. You will connect um, power in here and network cables in this too. It could be in one or in the other one. These are USB to connect your peripherals. The interesting part of this, um, you know, block or computer, it is that you have four bays, which uh, actually are right here. What is storage? You know, the data. What is going to be? It's going to be hard drives. I have a total of four terabytes and four hard drives for a total of 16 terabytes on your drive in your um, cloud. So imagine that guys, 16 terabytes. I mean, a lot of people can think, wow, that's a lot, but to be honest, it is not. Considering there is drives that can actually handle one by itself around, um, you know, 20, 22 terabytes per each one. But well, we have around almost 20 terabytes here total. And it's a really fun and small, piece of hardware which you can connect and create your private cloud instead of buying a big server. Now, this device, of course, once it's connected to the network and after it's connected to the network, I'm going to show you that you can actually remote to, the, to this network. I already worked with this brand previously. I'm going to show you really quick on my phone that I can even have access to all my files and folders directly from the hand here. 
I don't need to use a computer. I just need to use technically a cloud-based uh, account with, in this case, is QNAP, QNAP Cloud, and then, you know, just synchronize with all my folders. This is uh, my phone and I'm connected to, um, you know, NAS that is actually on the office. And I have a lot of folders, as you can see, and I'm directly connected. When I want to upload something, I just click in there and upload it from my files on the phone, from the phone to the server, from the server download to the phone. So that is the advantage of having a private cloud, guys. You don't have to share your information to, I have to say, Google. You don't have to share your information with Microsoft or with another, you know, any other brand because, you know, these devices on the back, these devices that you're seeing on the back, those servers, yeah, I mean, they have uh, a, a, they have certain limit of security. They are secure until someone sells will actually take a look and open those servers. And of course, there's policies. I will not say like which company is better relating the policies on security for data. All of them has a different level of security for your uh, customers or clients' data security. But well, if you want to upload your personal information to them, that's okay. You should, you should choose which are the files, which are the information that you want to upload. Now, if you have family pictures that you don't want to put up, information that you don't want to put up, hey, NAS or a network storage, network attachment storage, it is a great solution to actually bring that up. The same capability as a cloud-based system to the hand, basically on your palm or your hand, on your personal computer at home or in the, um, you know, in your office. It's, it's totally not occupied that much space. The consume is really low. I have to say probably 10 watts or something or up to 20 watts, no more. And you can leave this box completely on 24-7, 360 days. They will be always available. Of course, there's some updates. You can do the updates, but if you have a technician, you know, you always can hire somebody to handle your your uh, small personal cloud as well. We as Lake Tahoe Computers can also support you with the maintenance as administrators, and we can support you with all the updates and patches in case you need. So in that way, we take you off from your head all that administration that you don't really want to, um, you know, lose time doing that. So yes, you can ask on, on the store, you can give us a call to technically ask what is going to be um, capabilities, what is the size of your drives, and also the price or the cost of these devices, plus the cost of maintenance as well. Okay, um, for today, that's what I want to say. And I hope that everything was like um, an information that you guys can use in the future for your home-based business, for your business, or even if you just want to do a home lab and want to learn something about what it is the cloud. Another good tip I have to give you is uh, go ahead and take a look on Amazon Cloud AWS, I consider it's one of the best along with Microsoft or Azure. Of course, Google Cloud is spiking right now. Open free accounts, start open um, deploying your virtual machines and, um, you know, learn what is going to be the future, the cloud computing and, and what is going to come in the next years. Each year, I can see that the capabilities of the computers are reducing and, you know, most of the parts are integrated in the entire motherboard or logic board. This is because the computers today are designed to connect to the network and then use the capability of the cloud more than what we used to have before, more components, more parts. But well, uh, I'm a prof also uh, telling you that buy your parts, buy your computers, have something on uh, your home or your office, it's important. Okay, so uh, for me, it was a pleasure to talk to you tonight and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.